What's going on guys? It's Manny here bringing you guys another Civilization Revolution video and today we are going to be playing as the French on Diety and I'm going to be showing you guys the best strategy to win a game on the highest difficulty with the French. Might be doing this with other civilizations but I wanted to start it with the one I think I can be the most successful with and we're going to start this off by trying to find a good spot the key to finding a good spot with the French is, is they do start with pottery and you want to use that good culture to your advantage you want to find a spot with a lot of a lot of squares with um... what's it called? the grain squares you want to find a lot of those so we're not finding one that's very good right now we're gonna move closer to this. We're wasting a lot of turns right here. Hmm. This might be as close as we're gonna get. We don't want to run into another civilization and get killed to start the game. Okay, where? This is a prime candidate. Can we find? Okay. We don't have any technology squares, but this is perfect. We get, th we get one production square, four just squares where there's food, and then we have three grain squares. This should work out perfectly. Plain squares, that's the word I was looking for. But we have three plain squares, and then we have the four squares with a lot of food. I mean, we're not going to have the greatest production right away. And we are very close to the Spanish, it does look like. But if we can get a hundred gold really quickly to build another city, and then after we get that settler unit, we're going to try and rush that granary so we can build Paris very quickly and heal the warrior up. We got the Aztecs right here, so we need to hurry up and get this, and we can't get taken over very quickly, obviously. And we're in a terrible spot. let's see what we get 50 gold that is actually very very good we can work with 50 gold and we're gonna keep that warrior unit in Paris for this moment and then we're just going to hopefully get to you know they're gonna get the, to the barbarians before us hopefully we can attack them second so we get the rewards from this which would work out perfectly in our favor. Got to start building this granary here. And yes, the Aztecs attacked first, so that works out perfectly. Now we're going to attack. I mean, if we win, that'd be much better. Oh, come on. We lost. Okay, so that didn't work out. And the Aztecs are going to get the benefits from that one but not much we can do there hey see they're still nice to us and they're gonna send that caravan <laughs> okay seven D. let's get Paris up to four and then see what we do from there and then the Spanish found us see we got all that culture from that cathedral that the French start with it's an important part of using the French is trying to angle their culture in the best way to help you in this game. And let's see what we can find over here. Oh, dang it, we got there a little late. And I was actually incorrect, that's not the Spanish, that's the Mongols next to us. Which I don't even know if that's better. We're situated right at a crossroads between every civilization, it looks like. Which may or may not be a good thing meaning I could lose very very quickly unless I can do a good job of defending it. And we're gonna go to food pro let's build Paris as quickly as possible and a great builder you got that's very very important that's another reason I picked the French I have no idea why it doesn't state it anywhere that they would have this ability, but the French do get great builders more than any civilization I've played with in this game. 
it could just have something to do with their culture, but it's an important part of the game, and the Great Builder allows you to get buildings out much quicker, which is important to winning the game in any type of way. You need a lot of buildings, and the Wonders obviously help too, but we're just focusing on that, and look, we're, we're about to convert Ormas. I don't know how to say that. Let's see if we can convert it. Maybe. And see, we get a free city from that. I mean, it's not the best, but for technology, we will definitely take. And the Aztecs are trying to destroy us. Considering we had no technology, and then we get this city. What do the Aztecs want? Yeah, I'm definitely not giving you Gilgamesh, so... Yeah, look at all this food. 15 food. Paris is growing very, very quickly. One thing I would really wish we I really wish we had though was archers. Because this isn't exactly the best situation. It's not going to really matter if they send one warrior unit at us, though. And we have the river protecting us in most places. Okay, not here, though, obviously. Not where we need it the most against these Aztecs. Ooh. Yeah, let's just get masonry done. We don't want to wait the five turns for archery right now. Bronze working, that's not really going to do us any favors. Let's see. And they're just messing with us, apparently. Hopefully they're not just going to squat. Oh, okay. No, thank you. Maybe they'll try and attack us. Yep. Can we get this win? Yeah, okay, see? And then if that warrior unit can get to Paris, we'll have a warrior army. Another great builder. That's pretty good. That is actually really good. Get the hanging gardens out very quickly. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep the great builder in Paris until we can get the hang gardens and that warrior unit we had just got crushed by that legion that's not the best but we'll get over it we got a warrior army which should be good enough to just stop this legion Oh but it will not be good enough to stop that legion army. See, Paris is already up to a population of 500,000. We don't have any wonders yet or anything, though. Okay, we're eight minutes into the video, so that means I'm going to cut this off here pretty soon, right after I devise a strategy to stop this. But 7.5 defense, that's pretty decent, it might even be good enough to beat that legion army, it re it, see it's even better now, but you don't want to chance something like that, especially since the Aztecs will instantly heal, and not really much you could do there, okay, let's get some archer units built, Paris is going to be huge when we get this Hanging Gardens done. It's going to be... pretty big. We have, like, no technology, though, which is the downside. 
but it should definitely pick up after we're gonna wait for Paris to get to level 10 before we build this just so we can get maximize and they still don't want to make peace we're just trying to maximize the amount of population we get from it yeah look okay they attack from a terrible place so they have three attack and that should be an easy win for a warrior army even though the warrior army will probably lose to the to that Aztec unit and then our archers holding its own okay so we're not getting that city taken and six to three we should win here but since it's on deity it could very easily be a loss just cause the game likes to make sure you have no chance of winning basically okay and we win it's a good win. We stopped both of their their units, and I'm gonna cut this video off as soon as this turns over and we get the hanging gardens built. See, Paris is level 15 now. That's crazy. Yeah, look how good this city is now. That's level 15. 11 production, 12 food, 12 science. That's without even any of the buildings here. I mean, I know we're in 550 AD. We're behind in technology. But I honestly think we should catch up pretty quickly. We have two decent cities here. Off to a good start in this game. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it very much, and that's going to be it for the video, guys. Part 2 should be coming out here very soon.